Hi there, I'm Peter and this is Peter Smiljana Qigong channel. Today I'm going to talk about metal element. Metal element in our bodies is represented by the skin tissue on the surface. Around us there is this layer of guardian qi or wei qi that surrounds us as auric golden layer. This is also classified as metal element according to some sources which don't ignore this part of our existence. And of course the stars of the Chinese traditional medicine and Qigong, organs, lungs and large intestine. Season of metal is autumn. It is the time when we are more sensitive to catching cold, getting some sort of inflammation in our respiratory system. It is a time when we tend to be melancholic or sad and weather and shorter days just accelerate this. Some sadness is welcomed. It can be purifying. You can let emotions out and cry, relieve some emotional pain and burden, but it is not okay if it lasts too long. If the sadness lasts, you might get depressed without even knowing it. You might get frozen in the realm of metal element. You can close yourself for receiving and giving emotionally and finally get numbed. This happens after a long enough grievance or strong enough shock or traumatic experience. Why is that so? Well, metal represents our boundaries, our guide, shield with the largest organ that builds us, our skin. And so the lungs and large intestine represent the boundary of our physical existence. The first thing that we put into our cells when we came into this world was air. We don't stop this process of breathing until we die. Our lungs are not only oxygenator, but also air chi extractor, supplying us with chi from the air. If we close ourselves in deep grief, we stop breathing properly and we shut off from correct and sufficient supply of chi. This leads to insufficiency and lack of energy for moving, thinking, action, excretion of good feeling hormones and voila, you have a depression. The last thing that gets out of our bodies through large intestine is excrete of digested food. And this way the metal represents the boundaries on a physical level. When Chinese think of metal, they think of gold. Gold is precious, doesn't oxidize, reflects the light in yellow hue. Remember, after the earth element comes the metal element, color of earth is yellow. Gold is calming, relaxing and the majority of people will want to own it. Receiving and letting go. Metal can be melted, made into a liquid and condensed back into a crystalline form. While it is melted it is like a quicksilver, ready for the interchange with the surrounding. While when it is hard it is in non-exchanging form. In the same way, we communicate and absorb information, emotions and so on. But when our metal hardens, we know who we are and where is our place in this life and this gives our existence the meaning. This way, we change and adapt to new situations without disturbing our surrounding. We feel secure when we can go back and forward and change through this process of melting and hardening when we return to ourselves, our nature. But if metal is out of balance, we feel lack of this security and we clinch on that little that is left of our valued things or concepts in order to avoid further loss that is consequence of change. This can be seen in our capacity of taking in or elimination, like depriving yourself physically and mentally and also in constipation. 
One might also search for the outer source of perfection because of the lack of inner worth and emptiness. Metal rules Po. Metal rules our corporeal soul or Po. It is polar to our ethereal soul or Hun which resides in wood element. Our ability to respond to environment and the exchange of qi with universe through our breath is the gift of Po. Smell and touch is the experience that Po receives and these feelings are the basis for connection with our inner qi and universal qi. If we think of how a touch communicates with our inner feelings and how a smell can call up our past experiences, this gives us an example of how Po acts. Metal moves inwards and downwards. This phase of energy cycle is sometimes called decline. When the young of the summer starts to cease, energy starts to move inward, leaves start to fall Fruits have been collected and now the chi starts moving downwards towards the roots, towards the center, towards the source as it begins with its yin phase and starts gathering for regeneration. This phase insists that we allow and accept seeming decline. This is the movement of energy chi downward when we inhale. It moves towards lower dantian and kidneys where it can be redistributed to other organs. Sadness is emotion associated with metal element. Deep sadness that lasts too long can lead to depression, which is the cause of imbalanced metal in the first place, since healthy metal will not prevent us from feeling sad, but will prevent us from being trapped in the emotion by letting us be open to new possibilities. Inability to grieve is also imbalance. The discharge of tension with sadness and crying is essential for our normal existence and it can be shut off by non-acceptance of society or situation which can seem overwhelming by individual. Cry can release, free, regenerate, clean and heal one's soul. It opens us for acceptance and change. Don't avoid crying, it's good for you and nobody will dare to call you cry baby ever again. Like when they used to, when your metal element wasn't strong enough to protect you when you were just a small child. You can hear people who avoid expressing grief that their voice sounds like weeping or complaining all the time. Sense organ, nose. Lungs open to the nose but energetically large intestine is connected with it directly. Nose and the sense of smell connect us with our environment in direct non-rational way with inclusion of deepest emotions and our instincts. We smell and react instinctively. Color of metal is white. Color worn in times of mourning in Asia is traditionally white color, but white also symbolizes the shining light of metal. Physical sign of metal deficiency is when the white hue glows from a person's face and from the area around the eyes. Smell of metal is uh, rotten. Taste is piquant. Climate that injures lungs is dryness. Lungs and nose passages need moisture to function properly. Central heating and air conditioning can dry them so they become sensible for infection. Element time time of metal element is from 3 to 7 a.m. Lungs time is from 3 to 5 a.m. and large intestine time is from 5 to 7 a.m. It is said that this is the best time for meditation in Qigong following the time of excretion. Lungs is said are a tender organ, which meant that they are the most vulnerable. Lungs are responsible for the intake of qi through breath, 
and for dispersing it downwards and outwards. Any fatigue anywhere in the body can be due to lung imbalance. Lungs generate our protective chi, which traditionally resides in the space between the skin and the muscles. Regulating the water. Lungs receive refined fluids from spleen and send them throughout the body. The lungs regulate the water passages and will oftentimes influence urination and sweating if they are out of balance. Deficiency in lungs might lead to dry skin, dry hair, dry lips as lungs are inefficient to send fluids to the surface. Voice! Throat is considered a gateway to the lungs and it is also a source of voice. Healthy and strong voice is a sign of strong lung chi. Young metal. Large intestine is a young meridian of metal element. Its function is elimination, as is the organs. On the energy level, we eliminate ideas, concepts, impressions, emotions, memories, and so on. On the physical level, we excrete and eliminate waste products, gas, and so on. Lungs are the first entrance and large intestine is the last exit. They represent two passages and two landmarks of our being. May the chi be with you. Bye.